Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Today I'm going to show you everything I bought this week and two things that I got in PR that I wanted to share with you. The first one is this lip oil. I have been obsessed with lip oils lately and every time I wear a regular lipstick, I am reminded why I like these. I like them because they're sheer, they're shiny, but they're not over the top. This one is the Cherry in the Clarins, and it's a little bit darker than I usually like. I really prefer, let me see if I can find it. This is the Strawberry, and then here, I will hold them up together in just a minute. But let me see if I can swatch this for you because you're gonna be impressed. If you have been wanting a lip oil that has a little bit more color, then the Clarins Cherry is going to be for you. And I love these, these are in my top Three. I would say it's Dior, Clarins, hmm, I'm going to have to hold out on the third one and see which one, because I've got several of them, but I would say they're in the top two. Okay, this is the strawberry. So you'll really be able to see how much more pigment is in the cherry than the strawberry. You don't have to wear these with a lip liner, but I always do. To me, that's part of it. I'm a 90s girl and I love a good lip line. There's something about the way the lip oil and the lip liner blend. And then for the rest of the day, you don't have to replace the lip liner if you wear a good one and you can just redo the lip oil. I'm gonna blot some of that off and then now I'm going to apply the strawberry. Let's see if you can see a difference. Just a little bit brighter, a little bit more pink, but I still like this. If I ever am craving like more of a lip, a little bit more of a red lip, plus if you wore this with a red lip liner, it would be amazing. And you're gonna feel like that they're gonna slip out of your lines and slip all over the place, but they really don't. They really absorb and have a lot of good ingredients. So thank you to Clarence for sending me the cherry. I love the strawberry, and there's one I have downstairs called Pattaya that I really like too. Another thing I received in PR this week is from Nude Envy. It's their eyeshadow in Destiny. I love this line. I love everything about it. If you like a light nude lip, you will love their lipsticks. They did send me two lipsticks, but I haven't had a chance to wear them and try them, so I'll hold those for later. But this eyeshadow is where I'm wearing today, and it's so pretty. And this is the absolute only thing I have on. I don't have on an eyeshadow primer. I don't have on another shadow. I don't have any bronzer in the crease. I just have this one eyeshadow. Here it is up close so you can see more of the tone. It's really like a brown with a little bit of rosiness to it. It's a very, very good crease color. I'm also going to hold it back here because I feel like sometimes from a distance you can see the depth a little bit better. Just really, really nice. I think it's so pretty. It's so... It's yummy. It's a yummy color. And then the last makeup items I'm gonna show you are from Chantecaille. I shopped the sale that they had, I think last week or maybe the week before, it was a little while ago. I chose three lip liners and two lip glosses. Every time I think about Chantecaille, I think about Angelina Jolie because I remember reading like one time that she liked the Chantecaille glosses. So that's what I always think of. So I have a good a good feeling when I think of Chantecaille and I do really like their giraffe collection. That was a good one. So the first gloss I got is called Pretty. Here is the color. All of their lip shades are pretty demure. You know, they're just light lip colors and very, very, very wearable. There is the swatch of Pretty. Just a nice light pink. That one, the Pretty doesn't have any shimmers. The next one I got is Lucky, and this is more of a peachy pink, and it has a little bit of shimmers. I'm excited about this one. Also has a brush. Oh, this is like right up my alley here. Okay, so the top one is Lucky and the bottom one is Pretty. You know what, we're gonna go for it here. I also got 
three lip liners. So I just wiped this off as good as I could, and we are gonna use one of these lip liners and one of those glosses so I can show you. Okay, the three lip liners I chose are Discreet, Natural, and Tone. And they're all just very me shades, different forms of nudes. So I think, here, let me go ahead and swatch these in this order. Okay, so this one is Tone, this one is Natural, and this one is Discreet. Let's use Natural and that peachy lip gloss. Ooh, so far so good, but I do know this is over what was already there, which was the Dior Jungle. Oh, that's really pretty. Not much scent at all. Very smooth. I wouldn't say really sticky, but they feel sticky enough to last. So we'll see. I think that the cherry lip oil had already stained my lips so much, but I will be wearing these, especially these lip liners. These look right up my alley. And then here, I'll let you see them from back here too. Sometimes I think you can see better. And then those glosses. But Chantecai is more of that sophisticated, you know, light, natural makeup look anyway. So this goes right in line, but I love all of those. If you love Max Soar, I really think you would like that one, which is discreet. Okay, and then before I get into my fashion haul, I have several things to show you. I'm really excited because I found some really nice trousers. Trousers have been in for, gosh, I don't know, a year or two now, but I have always loved trousers. Even in my 20s, I would have rather worn trousers and a nice blouse. I've just always loved dressing up, but I love trousers even with a tank top or a bodysuit, and I have found some good ones that are at a good price. So I have that coming up, but I wanted to tell you about the scent that I'm wearing today. I think I'm feeling like I wanna blow it out for the summer and go ahead and wear all my summer scents. This is the Angel Iced Star. It's another Thierry Mugler or Mugler fragrance that is really nice. It's not, I know when you hear that name or angel, you think of patchouli, but if there is any patchouli in this, it's very faint. It's, I happen to like patchouli, so it doesn't bother me, but it's not a patchouli earthy type scent. This actually has a lot of coconut in it, and it's just a really fruity, coconutty summer fragrance. This is like an adult, more lasting version of an Escada scent, and I love it, and I love the bottle, and I've really enjoyed it this summer. Okay, for my outfit of the day, I'm so excited. I have found so many good trousers. I think I've got three pair here. I have on the Everlane bodysuit, just like the black one that I had on the other day. Love this, and it's on sale. I think it was less than $20. And then I'm loving these trousers that I ordered from Amazon, the drop. I just think they are so nice. They have the elastic back. They have a little bit, I would say, of a tapered leg. They're not necessarily a wide leg trouser, but they're not too skinny. And I just have them on with my clear Zara shoes. I wore them earlier to take some pictures with my new platform, Inez, and I will put that in here too. But I think that you guys would love these. I love that they're not too crazy see-through. And I love this. They really have a nice, generous waistband, good pockets, and I think a really good shape. You could also, you know, add a belt, but I'm not a belt girl, but I really have always loved all white or all black monochromatic, so that's why I paired it with this. Earlier, I did try it on with a new t-shirt. I have wanted this t-shirt for so long, years, and I never would spring for it. And then I saw a girl wearing it, and I just came home and ordered it. It's Isabel Morant, and it's her classic, just logo t-shirt. 
and this part is kind of like a fuzzy velvety type feeling you can get these in all different colors but my favorite is definitely just the white and black and it is a linen blend t-shirt let me see what it's made of yeah it's a hundred percent linen so i will need to either dry clean this or wash it on delicate and hang it dry i am not as much of a t-shirt wearing person just plain with jeans or anything but i am going to wear this underneath like the blazers and the motos and things like that and when you get a linen t-shirt it just has a really nice drape it's very similar to the alexander wang t-shirts that i used to wear a lot here are the same trousers that i have on in black see how they have like a little bit of elastic in the back just to make them extra comfortable and they're a flat front. I do like pleats, but I like having the option. And then these, these are from the brand Alo, and that is like an exercise line, but they have done really well, kind of like Commando, in designing everyday pieces, but in like exercise type fabrics and just making them a little bit more sporty and casual. So when I saw these on the website, I ordered them and I really like them. They are also elastic in the back. The only thing I will say is they are made of a, here, let's see if you can see it. They're made of like a windbreaker type, just the typical track pant type material, but they look really nice on. And I think if you are just branching out into trousers, these would be good ones to get. I think they're gonna look really good with like a denim jacket and boots. I have always loved mixing up leisure or athletic wear with a blazer, a moto, a big faux fur. I'll do anything like that. But I think these are very comfortable and very cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with them. And last but not least, these jeans, they, as soon as I pulled these out of the box, I knew I was going to love these. I could just tell by the way they felt. They're that true denim, but it's soft and worn in. It feels like a pair of jeans you have already worn five times. Just really soft, not necessarily stretchy. Let me see what these are made of. Okay, they're 77% cotton, 22 lyocell, and 1% elastane. So that explains why they're not really stretchy, but they're still really, really soft. They're the Frame Le High Flare, and I got the 27. I did not want these to be tight. They're not extremely high rise. I would say that they are kind of mid rise on me, and they are kind of long on me. So I think what I'm gonna do is just cut them off and let them be frayed at the ends, but they would be perfect for you if you have long legs and i'm going to be real careful because i do still want to wear these with high heels but i love the color i just love everything about them they're distressed a little bit they do have like one hole but not crazy they're not just trashed and they're just really soft i love them and for accessories of the day my sheila fajal hoops these are the smaller favorite hoops they're my favorite i think that everyone would enjoy these hoops my necklace is the dean davidson birthstone pendant mine is sapphire because my birthday is coming up in september and i will be 52. my watch is my rolex i cannot remember even the style but it is the one with the tiffany blue face and i have on my dean davidson signet ring in blue topaz and my nails are opi funny bunny one of my favorites and that is it so i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and i will be back with many more fashion videos and makeup and reviews and i will see you then Bye bye